For millennia, people have claimed seeing unusual creatures that don't fit our paradigm of understanding and defy explanation. Today, these strange creatures are referred to as cryptids, which are sometimes paranormal and are otherwise unknown and undocumented by the scientific community. Many dismiss claims of these creatures as simply myth, hoax, or folklore, but consider the fact that we have certainly not found all life forms on Earth yet. With new animals being found all the time, taking, for example, the recent discovery of a new whale species found in the Gulf of Mexico, there is a very real possibility that some of these legendary creatures could be lurking out there waiting to be discovered. For the most part, science believes cryptids are merely legends and cannot be proven to exist, but what if these strange creatures are real? Surely there must be some truth behind the multitudes of sightings over time throughout the world. This brings us to the topic of today's video. Some areas of the world seem to host a higher concentration of these legendary creatures than others. West Virginia is one of those places. So today, we're going to take a look at my list for the top 5 cryptids of West Virginia. Number 5. The Ogwa Monster Stories of this river monster have been passed down by local native tribes for generations, but was first reported by European settlers in 1745 by a family living in Holt, West Virginia. Named the Ogwa, this cryptid is said to be a 20-foot long monster that lurks alongside the Monongahela River in Marion County. Also known as the Rivesville Monster and the Holt Monster, it is believed this 500-pound creature is a cross between an alligator and a snapping turtle. Unlike other river monsters, the Ogwa is known for being able to come onto land to terrorize its victims as it sports stubby legs instead of fins. As for its diet, well, according to legend, this beast seems to have a particular liking for deer and is known to be able to crush them whole with its powerful jaw. Be warned though, this fearsome creature doesn't discriminate, as it has been said that any soul unfortunate enough to get too close to the Monongahela River's edge could be plucked with ease by the hungry monster who then drowns you in the river. Afterwards, the Ogwa was known to store its victims' bodies in its den for consumption later. Researchers believe that local tribes may have created the story of the Ogwa after seeing a potentially rogue alligator, or an alligator snapping turtle, that made its way further north than either species are known to go. This could have been done by traveling up the Mississippi River to the Ohio and then eventually to the Monongahela River in West Virginia. The theory is plausible as alligator snapping turtles have been found as far north as Maine. Alternatively, in prehistoric times, there were indeed giant turtles that made their home in what is now West Virginia. Perhaps the Ogwa monster was real, and some isolated population could have survived eons within the rivers of West Virginia. We may never know. Number 4. Sheep Squatch Our next West Virginia cryptid is a woolly-haired being called Sheep Squatch. Otherwise known as the White Thing, this creature has been reported across several southern counties in the state of West Virginia. Boone County is the one that has the most sightings, with a surge of them happening in the mid-1990s, which put Sheep Squatch on the map. This cryptid is typically described as a bear-sized quadruped with white woolly fur. Its head is long and pointed, much like that of a dog's, but it has long saber-like teeth and dons a pair of horns similar to those found on a young goat. Its forelimbs have paw-like hands, not unlike a raccoon, while its long tail is hairless like that of an opossum. This strange beast is also said to have a terrible sulfurous odor that accompanies it. In 1994, a former Navy seaman claimed to have seen Sheep Squatch making its way through the woods one day, stopping to take a drink of water from a nearby creek before crossing and continuing on. Later that year, two kids claimed to have witnessed a large, white, bear-like creature in Boone County, which stood on its hind legs. While not unusual behavior for a bear, the fact that it was white makes this suspect. 
When the creature realized it was being observed, it became startled and took off into a nearby forest while breaking medium-sized limbs off trees within its path. Later, in 1995, a couple driving through Boone County reported a harrowing experience of encountering Sheep Squatch, who they described similarly to earlier accounts, but this time it interestingly was described having four eyes. The creature jumped out from a ditch on the side of the road and began attacking the couple's car. The couple then sped off, later noticing that there were indeed large scratch marks on the side of their car, and it was attacked. As recently as 2015, a sheep squatch was spotted yet again by campers in Virginia, suggesting that there could definitely be something lurking within the Appalachian wilderness. Number three, the Grafton Monster. This creature, sometimes known as the headless horror of Grafton, is a hulking beast that makes its home along the Tiger Valley River near Grafton, West Virginia. This monster was said to be a nine foot tall beast with a kind of blubbery white gray skin. It was also very muscular, bipedal, and didn't really have a defined head according to witnesses who claimed to encounter this thing. Some think it may have been positioned low on its body, or had such massive muscular shoulders that it obscured its head, making it appear headless at first glance. The Grafton Monster was first reported on June 16, 1964 by Robert Cockrell. It was 10 p.m. and he was on his way home from work. He turned the corner on the road and suddenly saw a colossal thing off to the side. Terrified of this unknown colossus that was towering over his vehicle, Cockrell spread home and called up his friends to tell them what he had witnessed, and so that they could return to the place where he sighted the creature. However, once they arrived, the only sign of anything there was some flattened grass on the side of the road where Cockrell claims he saw the monster. Two days later, Cockrell's story appeared in the local paper, the Grafton Sentinel, which spread like wildfire in the community. This story caused a massive hunt with armed posses of people searching the area for the monster, but the Grafton monster seemed to have eluded the townsfolk. Another local had claimed to witness the monster while cutting wood with his father. They had been finishing up for the day when something caught the attention of their dogs who started barking at something walking towards them through the forest, and it clearly wasn't afraid of the sound of the dogs or the noise from their chainsaws. This undeterred beast finally came out of the woods and revealed itself before turning back into the woods and vanishing. So could there really have been this nine-foot colossus of a creature stalking the wilderness around Grafton, West Virginia? Well, since the 1960s, there haven't been any further reports of this creature. So only time will tell if there was really some kind of unknown beast lurking in the woods around Grafton, West Virginia. Number two, the Flatwoods Monster. Also known as the Braxton Monster, the Phantom of Flatwoods, or endearingly by locals, Braxy, this creature may not necessarily be a cryptid, but it's always a, a fan favorite, and I think it deserved to be in the number two spot on this list. Whatever this thing was, it sent the townsfolk of Flatwoods, West Virginia into a state of hysteria in the fall of 1952. The story goes that on September 12th, three young boys witnessed a bright object pass overhead through the sky and landed on a nearby farm. The boys grabbed their mothers along with some other townsfolk to go investigate this crash site. One of the townsfolk's dogs ran ahead of the group as they neared the site only to come back with its tail between its legs. As the group neared the site of the object, they could see a pulsating ball of fire a mere 50 feet away, and the area was reportedly filled with a mist that made the people's eyes and noses burn. Someone from the group shined their flashlight around, and it eventually landed on two points of light emanating from the mist. In that instant, a strange, 10-foot-tall robotic-looking creature was revealed, and thus, the story of the Flatwoods monster was born. The entity had a red, round head and a cowl in the shape of an ace of spades behind its head. Its large, glowing eyes were described as resembling portholes, 
and glowed a kind of orange green. And beyond that, its body appeared to be metallic and armored. Some accounts mention that it had robotic arms, while others vary and say it had no arms at all. But here's where it gets strange. As the townsfolk observed this strange robotic being, it began hovering over the ground towards this frightened mob before making some kind of strange, high-pitched, shrill noise. As it hissed in that moment, whatever this thing was headed back towards the fireball on the ground. This frightened the group so much that they decided it was in their best interest to flee the area. Local deputies were called and informed of the incident, but the only thing they found during their investigation of the site of the area was a sickening, burning, metallic odor in the air. Could this have been a case of misidentification or mass hysteria? Or did the townsfolk of Flatwoods, West Virginia make first contact with a creature from the unknown? Number one, Mothman. This brings us to our number one spot in the top five cryptids of West Virginia. As we've seen from this list so far, the state has no shortage of stories about the strange and unexplained, which is why the most bizarre and perhaps most famous case that takes this top spot today is none other than the Mothman. This terrifying flying creature was said to have stalked the residents of West Virginia between 1966 and 1967, culminating in the collapse of the Silver Bridge that connected this small West Virginia town of Point Pleasant to Ohio and ultimately killed 46 people. When you think of Mothman, you probably think of Point Pleasant, but the first reported sighting happened in Clendenin, West Virginia, an hour and a half away, on November 12, 1966, while digging a grave plot. Five grave diggers claimed to have seen a large brown humanoid creature with wings that was stalking them from the nearby trees. Once this creature realized it had been spotted, it quickly took off to the sky faster than any normal bird would. A few days later, the sighting that made Mothman known to the world would happen. On November 15, 1966, two couples, Roger and Linda Scarberry and Steve and Mary Mallett, witnessed something that would change their lives forever. While on a double date, the couples decided to take a drive through the Point Pleasant's infamous TNT area, a former World War II ordnance depot that helped manufacture explosives for World War II. As they drove through, Linda noticed two red, glowing eyes in the darkness over on a nearby building. She screamed, and within moments, Roger, Steve, and Mary's attention was brought to the sight of a darkly lit, seven-foot-tall humanoid creature with large red eyes and wings folded against its back. Roger, who was at the wheel, decided to get the group out of there and sped off in his 57 Chevy Bel Air. As they made their escape, they looked back to see if the creature was still there, but to their horror, it had taken off after them. According to Roger Scarberry, the creature kept pace with his car at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. The creature finally broke chase after the Scarberries and the Mallets as they reached the Point Pleasant city limits. The couples regained their composure after the chase, thinking it was only a bird that they saw and were merely overreacting. The Scarberries and Mallets decided once again to go back to the TNT area. Sure enough, when they returned, the creature was there waiting for them. This time, Roger's car's headlights shined directly on the creature, revealing its true form. The creature then spread its wings to a 10-foot wingspan and shot straight into the sky. Afterwards, the Scarberries and Mallets took the story to the local police, and from there, Mothman became known. In the following 13 months, hundreds of sightings of this strange flying humanoid creature would take place from Point Pleasant to Charleston, West Virginia, and beyond. When the Silver Bridge collapsed in December of 1967, it was the largest bridge disaster in American history. Some witness reports tell of seeing the Mothman near the Silver Bridge just before it collapsed, leading many to believe that this creature is a harbinger of doom. After these events, Mothman sightings largely stopped in Point Pleasant, 
But in recent years, Mothman has been sighted again, this time near Chicago, Illinois. Could there be something that the Mothman is trying to tell us? And if so, will we heed its warning? All right, that was my list of the top five cryptids of West Virginia. What do you think of these cryptids? And which one's your favorite? Are there any other West Virginia cryptids I didn't cover in this video that you'd like to see a follow-up on? Or topics you'd like to hear about in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Also be sure to check out my social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, along with my website, all linked below. See you next time, and make sure to keep it strange.